You're going to be all right. I think that's the last of them. We've done all we can for the wounded. As for the rest... to us. Let me handle this. Citizens of Yulmore, what I'm about to tell you will come as a shock. Indeed, you may be loath to believe it, but if you trust the evidence of your senses, it is my hope that you will listen and accept the truth, unpalatable though it may be. Vorthri is a sin eater. Everything he offered, everything he promised, was a lie. They're not taking it well, and who could blame them? Are you saying we were Vorthry's puppets all this time? When you attacked us, you were not yourselves. That much is true. But your conduct prior to that moment was your own. Vorthry's unnatural charisma does not absolve you of all responsibility. Of your own free will, you came to the city and gave yourselves over to its pleasures. And in the course of this, if you mistreated those less fortunate than you, then that too was of your own free will. It is not for me to judge you, but for your victims, for history, for your conscience. You have dreamed a twisted dream, but now you are awake. You may yet share this world of ours. Join with us and each other that we might begin anew. We've lost so many already. We dare not lose any more. said my piece. My thanks for giving me the chance. There is nothing more to be done here. Let us go after Vor three. Is there anything we can do to help? You risked your lives to bring us to our senses, and I for one hope to repay that debt. Begin anew, as you said. Vorthry has fled to Mount Gulg, and we mean to pursue him. Do any of you know the way? The only way to Mount Gulg is over the Bright Cliff. Have you an airship? We will contemplate flight only as a last resort. Were we to come under attack whilst airborne, we would have little hope of defending ourselves. If at all possible, we would prefer to travel by land. Is there a way? 
Well, the ladder is the only way up and down the cliff, but it hasn't moved in a long time. In the old days, it was operated by the mining folk who lived at the top. But after the flood, it saw less and less use, and when Lord Vorthry took control, it was abandoned altogether. So we somehow need to get the ladder working again. It moves by means of a talos, if that's any help. But good luck repairing that. about them, don't you, dearest? If anyone can get this lift moving, it's you. Um, well, perhaps. But, but, but see here. Oh, yes. If you want the golem restored, you may leave it to my husband. For he happens to be the heir to Daedalus Stoneworks, foremost makers of Talos, whose contracts include the renowned mining venture of Armoreng. It's... well, it's been years and years since I had anything to do with it. I, I can't just pick up a hammer and set to work. You... you can't. No, that, that, that's not what I... It's just... Uh... All right. I will take a look at the Talos. But beyond that, I make no promises. Those with strong backs, come with me. I'll need help dragging the damn thing out of the storehouse. Well done, brother. Come, my friend. We have work to do. Would you look at that? The citizens of Yulemore engaging in what can only be described as manual labor. Who would have thought it possible? Do you know the most reliable way to deal with those who stubbornly refuse to see reason? You conquer them, crush them under heel. Such was the trusted method of Alec, and one still favored by Garlemald. But conquest is the easy part. The true challenge begins once the dust has settled, quenching the glowing embers of animosity and maintaining a semblance of peace. This requires the conqueror to treat the conquered with dignity and the conquered to let bygones be bygones, a difficult feat to achieve. But you have achieved just that, to my considerable surprise. It's a compliment. Take it. vibrant energy that fills the air when like-minded souls gather. To think back on that time before time, fair brings a tear to the eye. What? You thought ancient beings like us incapable of crying? Well, rest assured that if your heart can be broken, then so can mine.
Back when the world was whole, we had family, friends, loves. Men knew peace and contentment, and with our adamant souls, we could live for an age. There was no conflict born of want or disparity. Our differences paled into insignificance next to all we had in common. And then there was Amarok. Never was a city more magnificent. From the humblest streets to the highest spires, she fairly gleamed. Not that she would remember any of this. Never mind. The point is, the world of old was a far better place than what we have now. I believe you would like it, having witnessed the things you have. Remember, you are of the source. Unlike the half-men here, you stand only to gain. Should you survive the remaining calamities, you will become our equal. A complete existence in a complete world. But such talk is a pleasure for later. Back to work, hero. Ah, there was one thing I had meant to ask. How well do you know the Exarch? Has he ever deigned to show you what hides beneath the cowl? What? Never? Even to you? How very interesting. I shall enjoy working out what it means. Until next time. It's alive. I don't know if you remember, but when we first met in this world, I was all but spent. I never thought to wonder why until now. I think it all just got to be too much. The guilt of causing the flood. Knowing everyone hated me. But the worst thing was the solitude. Time wears you down, I. Solitude eats away at you. It was this close to finishing me off. But as bad as it got, and as empty as I felt, I can't even begin to imagine what it must be like for Emmett's son. All of which is a long way of saying, don't make a choice that leaves you alone. Nothing is worth that. Especially not eternity. Glad tidings, my friend. The ladder lives again. The three of us have been invited to do the honors. Are you up for it? Of course, if you're worried that the whole thing might come crashing down, we can always find someone else. That's the spirit. Come on, then. We rode the ladder too, my comrades and I. Once upon a time. 
watch the horizon grow and the town shrink below us. Awed and terrified in equal measure, we ascended without a word, the silence broken only by the rhythm of the gears. No one but me remembers that day. Remembers our journey and our end. Retread the path. Seek and you may yet find.